It is time for Baseball Night in New York. Moose is back, and this time he brought our baseball insider, Anthony McCarron, with him. And Anthony, let's start with you. What can you tell us about Mickey Calloway? Well, Justine, this is an intriguing hire. Uh, I spoke to Steve Carse today, who uh, is the former Major League pitcher. Uh, he's now the uh, Indians AAA uh, pitching coach. And in fact, Mickey Calloway hired him a few years ago when Calloway was the, uh, was the pitching coordinator for the, for the Indians in the organization. And he calls, uh, Carse calls Calloway the great communicator and uh, says that this is going to be a big asset for the Mets because this guy can get his message across to players. And he's very analytical, too, which is a big thing with the Mets front office because they're very into the numbers. And Callaway, apparently, according to Carse, is very good at deciphering the numbers, you know, figuring out what they mean and what, how they can help the pitchers, and then delivering that message to the pitchers, too, which is something that sometimes gets lost in translation you know, between the newfangled numbers and the old-time baseball guys. So it's a great uh, couple uh, here with him. And uh, you know, another thing about this guy is that he's apparently built for this city as well. He is a very even keel kind of guy. And, you know, so we, we've always heard, you know, New York is a different kind of place. And uh, Carse, who's from here, says that he'll be able to handle it because of his personality. Big media. Lots of media to deal with in <laughs> no this doubt. city. All right, Moose, let's get your take on this, especially as you look at some of the other candidates. Kevin Long was a front runner for this job. Do you like who they went with? Yeah, I mean, honestly, with all the names being out there, this was the guy that I thought made the most sense because the greatest asset to this team is the starting pitching. And when you look at it, that's the thing that you needed to have a guy brought in here here that a was going to communicate with them as Anthony just articulated B was going to have maybe a game plan or a game plan to try and keep these guys healthy over the course of 162 game season if the Mets are going to go out there and win in 2018 it's going to be on the strength of DeGrom Syndergaard a rebuilt Matt Harvey keeping Zach Wheeler healthy keeping Steven Matt's healthy and honestly I mean all due respect to Kevin Long and I hope he gets an opportunity one day for where the Mets need to go and that is getting back to October baseball they needed a pitching guy in there especially with Dan Worth and being ushered out the door a little bit of a change in scenery there I think Mickey Callaway makes the perfect sense he was a guy that was well thought of throughout the course of Major League Baseball I think he's a guy that makes perfect sense I think it's a great hire and you mentioned Dan War then with somebody that Noah Syndergaard was very fond of how soon do you think Callaway gets in there gets assimilated with these players I'm sure that he's already texted some of these guys already and started working on yeah. them you know to get into their heads that you know he you know get everybody on the same page and, and get going as quick as possible I mean one of the things to me that is an interesting challenge for Callaway because he, we are talking about him as a pitching first guy he's got a whole other half of the roster to deal with too sure now he's got to figure out how to how his skills apply to the hitters as well and you know that's the whole thing I mean Kevin Long is an interesting point now because does he stay with the organization now that he's been passed over for the manager's job I'm we'll have to see that I'd have and, a hard time believing unless he's the bench coach I mean unless you bump him right. up I don't I don't think he'd be the hitter. But he's coach. also like a guy who has great relationships with the hitters, right. which is going to be something that they're probably going to have to but work on. But that is a difficult thing. If you're Callaway, you have to have um, you have to have your guys in there on your staff. I really believe that. You bring in a guy in to manage the team, you got to make sure that he has his bench coach there, his hitting coach, guys that are all of a sudden put, uh, pushing in the right direction. It can't be a case where you have a guy, in all due respect to Kevin Long, a guy that was going for the job, that missed out on the job, you got the job, because honestly, emotions do come in to play a little so you bit think as well. he's hovering then at that point no or at least I mean in you, your just mind. Don't, you just right. never know yeah. honestly you never know when you want your guys in you you get this kind of a job when you want to be surrounded about guys that you're around you that you completely trust that you have a self-belief in that are all pushing in the right same direction it makes sense you bring your team in right all right we'll have to see if any other changes come down the pipe thank you guys